Hello, my friends. I would like to talk to you about a super important topic that doesn't get enough uh, attention in HEMA circles and is very important for the safety of your head, which is the proper fit of a HEMA mask and how to get around it if it doesn't fit just right. So I will show you three different sizes of masks on my head. Now, what you should know is I am in between sizes. I'm in between S and M. Generally, from Armin Guild and from my experience, we recommend that you get a larger size. However, if you know that a smaller size works for you, if you have had the chance to try out a smaller size of whatever company mask you're trying on, then go with that mask. A good fit is super, super important for this. So let's go on and first let's go with the worst fit of all, which for me is a size L. So let me check. <clears throat> this is a size L mask. So if I put it on, okay, it feels kind of comfy, but that's not what matters here. What matters is that I know this is too big and I know this in several different ways. First, there is a test where you simply shake your head left and right. And if you feel the mask has give, it means it's too big. You can grab the mask and just kind of wiggle it. And if the mask wiggles without moving your head, it means that the mask is too big. Third test, you take the mesh and you press it in. If it can touch your nose or get anywhere near your nose, the mask does not fit properly and you need to reevaluate it. So this, for me, is a very poor fit. I would get hurt wearing this mask. That's a size L. Now, <clears throat> we have a size M. I have been using a size M mask for a long time and actually it was perfect because I used a scrum cap underneath, which kind of makes my head a little bit bigger, so it fit perfectly. I do recommend, especially if you're not using rear guard, because rear guard has fantastic padding, that you do use a scrum cap underneath your mask. It helps a ton with concussions and headaches and getting stroke blows to the head. So this is what a um, what might feel like a good fit, but is still a little bit dangerous. <clears throat> so I have my mask. It feels kind of snug. It feels kind of comfy. But if I do this. There's a tiny little bit of give where my head doesn't move, but the mask does. That's a little bit of a red flag. However, the real kicker is if I go here and I press the mesh in, I can touch it with my nose, which means this is too big for me. If I shake my head, again, the tiniest of spaces in between my ear and the mask itself. So this one, also not a great fit for my head size, apparently. Um, now we have a size S. Now, as I said, I was always in between sizes. Turns out uh, I might have measured it a little bit wrong and I might be a size S. If I put it on now, There we go. This one's still completely new, so it's a little bit more difficult to put on and you still have to adjust the straps a little bit. So I put it on and it feels very snug. Absolutely no give. My head moves as soon as I do this. Absolutely no space. The mesh almost does not move. However, this mask is very, very new. Um, and I have done basically nothing to it yet. So I feel like it's pressing against my jaw a little bit too much. No worries, that does not necessarily mean that the mask is too small, especially if you feel like you have a little bit of space around the ears. What you do is, you take this seam, you take your mask, you put it in between your legs or like this, or you sit on it, you just squeeze it. By squeezing it, You'll elongate it a few millimeters, you'll make it a little bit tighter on your ears, which is also good, and it will fit your head better. You should do this with masks until you find what works best for you. So rear guard is maybe a little bit more difficult to actually squeeze properly because of the rear mesh, but it can still be done. Don't be afraid to really squeeze as hard as you can. 
Okay, <clears throat> so now let's try this again. And this was a little bit too tight. <clears throat> oh yeah, that just one squeeze and I can already feel the difference that it is a little bit better. I'm gonna have to do it again, a couple of times probably, until I get to my uh, comfort zone. I still feel that I have a little bit of space at my ears, which is good, which means I can still squeeze it more. But this fit is much better and my head will be much safer when fighting it. Uh, there is another very important aspect that I want you to consider. Now, if I am fighting with a gorget, if I have extra throat protection and I have a jacket that has a collar, this part will be very, very thick and that can be dangerous. So if I'm here and I have my mask on, And I have one thing, two things down here. What's going to happen is the bib is going to start going there and my chin is going to start to slip. And as soon as I get a stab or a strike that goes a little bit upwards, this is going to happen. So the mask might be pulled off, the chin might slip up and the mask might be pressed into you. I have actually had this happen with a uh, all-star mask. Um, because at a tournament you had to have a gorget and I couldn't fit both a gorget and a scrum cap on so I had to take the scrum cap off which left a little bit of wiggle room the gorget um, made my mask slip off the opponent in that moment went into a stab and the stab pushed the mask into my front tooth breaking it so if you are using extra throat protection be very 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 careful that it fits well with your mask Whatever mask it might be, you're going to have problems with the majority of masks if you have too much padding here. So, thank you for your time, thank you for listening, and I hope this has been useful.